Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me as I play more Farm Together. In this episode, I'm literally going to talk about fishing because if you watched my last episode, I was like, I'm not sure if fishing in one big group is better or fishing se separately is better. And I had mentioned that I separated out these fish uh, so that I could get a better chance. So I did a little bit of research and came up with a couple of interesting tidbits of information, I guess I should say. So first of all, these two ponds that you see over here are fish that have been put together by, how do I want to say, put together by empty water tiles. This group here is joined together just by five tiles of fish. So there's five fish in here. And then of course, I've got individual fish here. Now the water tile, if you just want water and you just want to decoratively lay out your fish, you can find that under the paths. It's just this little 500 uh, coin. I almost said simoleon. If you're a simmer, you know what I mean? Uh, 500 coin option. And that's what I used in these two ponds. So that's why you can see like here, there's no fish here. There's no fish. And my, my cat's like, I love all these fish. So I went and I did some research because I was like, well, whenever you fish, you have an odds, like there's odds for each fish at catching them. So actually, oops, let's go look at fish real quick. So you have a 25% catch rate. So I was thinking if you were harvesting each fish pond individually, you'd have a greater chance of getting that 25%. But what I found out when I did some research was that actually when they're all together, you're still harvesting. So say you catch the fish, then, and you have four of that kind of fish in there, then you will have caught multiples of that fish. So you have the same odds. It's still counting them as individual. You just don't have to harvest them one by one by one. So I am still not particularly sure which way I like better or worse at this point. Uh, and I'm using fish a lot as just decoration. So I'm going to keep trying it my way. But this is just basically an opportunity to give us three ways of fishing. This way here, you fish individually, but it looks like they're all in one big pond, which is great for decoration. This way here, they're all in one big pond and you can have multiple kinds or you can keep, uh, let's just move this. You can keep the, the similar kinds together. So let's move him over here. And then I'll move this guy here. And now I have all my puffer fish or blowfish or whatever together. And so you can do that and try your luck. But basically that's what it comes down to. No matter how you fish in farm together, it's all a game of chance. And what somebody said, it's a random number generator. So you have really little control over it. And I thought putting them together would make it better. I'm learning that it's really just personal preference. I think the odds are the same no matter how you cut it. So I think I'm going to go with a choice of just keeping the same kinds of fish together versus spreading them out, especially when I have a challenge and need to make them work for me rather than against me. So there you have it. That's my thoughts on fishing in Farm Together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And of course, if you'd like to see more and you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Then ring the bell because that will let YouTube know you'd like notifications when I post something new on the channel. And that way you don't miss out on anything. And I do have lots of fun stuff coming. And I guess until then, have a great one.